Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, also called Bowtie RN. At work, they call me Bowtie Mikes. So I figured I'd go ahead and label my YouTube channel Bowtie RN. Yes, I am a nurse. If you didn't see my first video, go ahead and check it out. Actually, the uh, not quite an unboxing, but it was the first shave video for my Henson AL13. I do have the AL13 with the aggressive plate. It was a limited release. A couple of us got to try it. I think there's a little bit over 100, 150 of us had the option to go ahead and get these, trial these, and see how we like them. For my first week's worth of shaving, I've been using a couple different types of blades. I use the Astra Superiors. I use Feather. And then I've gone, gone ahead and tried the RK blades that Henson recommends and had designed specifically for use with the Henson AL13. Going to have to say it's a stainless blade with no coating, but I really do like it. It works really well. Um, I've had better shaves with the RK, RK blades than I have with the feather blades. The razor overall has performed seamlessly for me. I, prior to using the Henson, I could shave in the morning right around six o'clock and by 10, 11 o'clock, I was already getting stubble coming through. With the Henson, I've been shaving the same time, six o'clock in the morning, and I don't generally have stubble coming through until into the evening when I'm on my way home. So I don't even get the five o'clock shadow. I actually don't get my five o'clock shadow until about nine, 10 o'clock at night. So it's worked really well for me. They called it an aggressive plate, but I'm going to have to say that I wouldn't call it aggressive. I would call it efficient. It's a lot more efficient than any of the blades that any of the other razors that I've tried, but it works really well for me. If you've not used, if you've not used a Henson before, inside the top cap, to go ahead and have the the lateral bars that hold your blade in place. And in your bottom cap, two little spots for those bars to fit into. And then of course the hole for the three piece razor. Goes together pretty easily. I've been using a washer. Um, Henson says you don't really need to because they go ahead and add an insert to prevent the aluminum on aluminum damage. Been really good for me. I've been using the, like I said, I've been using the washer Tightens down really well. I don't have to have to worry about over torquing it and damaging the metal. They've designed it to where it won't damage it, but I'm I'm just afraid, so I'm doing it anyways. My only possible fear is that the threads on the inside of the handle, it is the aluminum handle, so I don't know how long these are going to last. From the Hensons that are out there, they seem to not be a complaint at all, so Maybe I'm just being picky. Maybe I'm just being looking for something, some problem when there's no other problem with the razor that I can come across. I've not tried the mild or the medium, but according to one of the other videos I've seen, the uh, etched in knurling here on the handle is supposedly a little more aggressive with this release of the razor. I find it really nice. It's not aggressive enough to even think about scratchiness but it holds really well. I've actually purposely got my hand soapy, picked up the handle and had no slipperiness at all. I've been able to hold the handle really well. It's a nice length. I like to put my pinky on the bottom of the handle and it really glides effortlessly across the face and works really well. Even when you look at the head, I'm not sure if we can quite pick it up on video, not quite. There's a, an etch line going right across, there it is. Etch line going right across the top. Serves no function, but I just think it looks kind of nice. Just a slight extra touch to go ahead and make an already nice razor look a little bit better. Anyone has any questions about these, go ahead and feel free to put them in the comment box. But for me, this is my current go-to everyday razor. Got a couple others, but this is the one I'm using. I can do a two pass shave and make it no problem. If I want to go super extra smooth, I'll go ahead and do a three pass. Like I said, any questions, pop them down in the comments and I'll get back to you and have a good day.